six moms in the Wimbledon draw. Did you know that? Actually, I didn't. <laughs> the most famous one of all, Serena Williams, who's now the tournament favorite after advancing over to Mova today, joins us. Congratulations, as I said when you walked in, on it seemingly a million things that have happened in the yes. past year to you. Thank but, you. But more importantly, did you get my baby gift? I did. Okay. It was because, so cute. Okay, so I carried this around at Australia. No And way. then Indian Wells, and then Miami, and I brought it to the French, and then I brought it here, and I saw your husband on the corner yeah. making a million-dollar deal. <laughs> I ran up to him, jumped on him, just threw him the package and said, give us to your yeah, wife. She would, she would outgrow she, it soon, well, right? It's probably five sizes too small. No, no, actually it's not. It's okay. perfect. It's, okay. it's like a little jean jacket, a little, little oh, fur collar. It's really cool. Oh, how cute. Oh, little bling. I'm cute. glad you got it. Oh, okay. oh, that is so, she's adorable, by the Thank way. Thank you. Absolutely Thank adorable. You. But uh, not to keep you longer from her, let's talk a little bit about the tennis that's going on yeah. now that you're a working mom here. Yes. A lot of seeds are out, five of the top eight on the ladies' side. There's a lot of opportunity. As I said, you've now been put in there as the favorite. But when I saw that, I wondered, do you still show up to tournaments believing you're the favorite? Um, Along this comeback? <laughs> it's, it's hard to say. I think in the past two, three months, three and a half months, I've put in so much work off the court um, that I feel confident to go in a tournament and say, oh, I'm not going to just win a couple rounds and leave. I feel confident saying that, oh, I can go and stay in there and actually have a chance to compete. So um, that's kind of how I'm feeling right now. And, you know, but everyone's playing well. The five or the eight are out because the, everyone is really not giving anything to any, any of us players. So we have to go out there and, and win them. How much better were you today than in the first round? I was a lot better today. I was also more relaxed and um, I was a little, I was so anxious in my first round match because I wanted to prove that I could do so well and that kind of backfired on me. So that today I was like, okay, you know, just be calm, but still have that intensity. And for me, it's, it's finding that calm and the intensity and keeping that together. We're talking about milestones and records and numbers, and I know they were so important to you, um, especially the ones that you could attach personal names to. You know, we talked about 18 when, gosh, so long ago. It took so yeah. long for you to get to 18. Right. You know, <laughs> now you're looking at, at 24 and 8 here. It, it, did they still mean as much to you? Um, I guess how have things changed? Is yeah, what I'm they do. But my new thing is I don't want to limit myself. You know, I felt like. You know, I limited myself when I was, cause, and I was so stressed to get to 18, and you know, it was crazy. It, was, it took me forever to get there. Um, but I, I put a, I put a wall, and I was like, why am I, why am I stopping there? I should go further. And so now, um, for me, the sky is the limit, and I don't know what that is, but. I'm at Wimbledon and I'm just trying to win my next match and, you know, just take it one at a time. And so and not thinking too far ahead because I the plan I'm on is for the next few years, not just for this tournament in particular. That's nice to hear. Yeah. Years. That's, that's like Roger. Roger was in here earlier and he said the same thing. What has been the bigger challenge, though? Is it has it been the physical part wanting to get back into fighting shape or is it has it been the emotional part not wanting to be torn away from yeah. your little girl? Um. I, it's tough. It, it's probably 50-50. The physical was hard. There was a lot of things I didn't want to give up. I didn't really want to stop breastfeeding for forever. And then that obviously slowed down the, the physical part. Mm -hmm. And then um, and then the emotional part. Like, today I'm leaving for my match, and, you know, she's, like, starting to cry. And I'm like, I'll be back. I'll be back. So, you know, it's, it's hard. It's hard. But I know that I'm out here, and I'm doing it for her. And... You know, it's going to be okay. Did you have any idea that you would feel this way? No, no. <laughs> Everyone said I would. And I was like, I just don't feel it. And I'm not going to feel it. And I want to feel it. But it's not happening. And it did happen. And I'm glad it happened. Yeah, it's amazing universally, the, the working mother push-pull. I mean, you're going to a fabulous job on center court. Yeah. But when your baby's crying, your baby's crying. And it is. And it's like you have different priorities in life, for me, at least for me as a mom. And I'm glad I have that. I realize that everything I've accomplished has been really amazing. But, you know, this is for by far the best thing I've accomplished. It's a life. It's yeah. a little life. Yeah. You had a, a great take-your-daughter-to-work moment. Oh, and yeah. And for those who, who weren't able to, to see it on social media, Serena put it out. Just take a glimpse at this. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a girl from Compton. Hi. And she had a dream of playing at Wimbledon. And her dream came true. <laughs> 
Yes, Olympia, your dreams can come true too. Do you know who that little girl was? That little girl was your mama. <laughs>